Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and this is Richie's 10 minute taster for a game called Outward. Now I've been really looking forward to taking a peek at this, um, I haven't played it yet, I've seen a few screenshots, seen a couple of um, scores for it here and there, just a little bit of research. Looks like it might be my type of game, so we'll get stuck in. I'll go through the tutorial. Always a good place to start. Uh, one player tutorial. Okay, each city has several merchants, either directly outside or inside buildings. They will sell food, equipment, crafting recipes in addition to selling goods related to their city's specialists. Specialists? Specialities. Right. Okay, so look around. Cool looking character. Um, graphics seem pretty good as in kind of last generation but still nice and nice and crisp right why I read more about tutorial welcome to outwards tutorial following the red line to learn about the game's mechanics you can bypass parts of the tutorial by not following the red line okay right let's follow the red line What's this Open Nomad Backpack. Right, got myself a backpack. I'm liking the look of the character. Hopefully you can customise the character's look and appearance as you go along. That would be cool. Right, so what else can I do? Can I block, roll. That's a kind of attack there. Maybe that's a charge attack, is it? Left trigger. Looks like a special attack. Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to learn about all of this in a moment. Right, okay. So, basic combat. Head down to learn about basic combat. Will do. can see that I'm going to like exploring these type of uh, buildings. Why? I read about locking on enemies. Right analog stick to move your camera to an enemy allowing you to hit them more easily. Right stick. Oh, right stick button to lock. Right stick again to remove the lock. Oh, okay. Right. With you. You haven't told me what the button is yet, but let's try it. Going on there. Okay, and then right to remove it. So, right to get on it. Square. I'm using a uh, PS4 pad. Square to uh, do the attack. Right to remove it. Okay. That is that. Right. Where can I go? I can go down or left. What's over here? Basic attacks. This is what I want. Perform basic attacks with A and special attacks with X. Right, so A and X. So that's uh, X and square <laughs> on my pad. Okay, X and square for attacks. Lock on. That's like the standard attack is with X. And then the special must be with square. Nice bit of button mashing. Durable stuff. Can I run? Oh, I see. So RT does engages some kind of uh, special attack by the looks of it. LT engages some alternative attacks. No doubt we're going to learn a bit about that. Alright, okay. Follow the red line, red line, red line, follow the red line. 
Synopsis. Read more about blocking. Block with the right shoulder. Prevents damage from a strike, reduces how much you'll be knocked back. Shield consumes less stamina when blocking and can block arrows. I've always been crap with uh, blocking mechanics. Is this some kind of parry? Okay, so what's going on here? Evade attacks by dodging with the left shoulder. Though this consumes a fair amount of stamina, you can also move away from attacks by holding left shoulder to sprint. Ah, there's your sprint button. Yeah. Cool. Okay, right, so, stability. Your stability bar is at the bottom of the screen while enemies have it under their health bar. When one's stability reaches 50%, he is knocked back. When it reaches 0%, he is knocked down. Okay. Here we go. I was going to try and roll out of the way. Wasn't very responsive. Right, let's go again. that okay it's the basics there oh gotta go this way anything I can pick up or anything or oh, what's that behind there what's that anything no no right let's do some sprinting nice big fish Ooh, what's up here interact lovely stuff so no kind of interact animation but that's fine. Um, anything down here? Cool. I like the way these, uh, even these paths branch off from the red line. I'm gonna go on the red line though. Keep with the red line. Proceed up the stairs to learn about skills. Yes, skills, skills, skills. Pay the bills, bills, bills. And pay my telephone bills. Quick slots to assign skills or items to quick slots. Open the menu with back. That will be a share button on this pad. Then select the quick slot tab and assign them there. To use quick slots with a gamepad, press an assign. Press the assign button while holding left trigger or right trigger. Oh, I think that's what I was doing, wasn't I, when I was holding the. Uh, Astral Potion, uh, Firestone. Right, maybe I need to just follow this through first. What's this? Fireball. First, put the Spark and the Fire Sigil skills in your quick slots, and be certain to have Firestones in your inventory. Cast a Fire Sigil, then use Spark while standing outside the Sigil. Inside the Sigil, sorry. Okay. Uh, spark and fire, right. Okay, think. Spark is X, which is square on my pad. No? Oh, I need to keep hold of it and then assign it, yeah? Ah, right. Oh, okay. I 
kind of think that's one. Doesn't seem to be having any effect on him though. Whatever's going on. Uh, that one. Oh, that worked. There you go. Right, I'm with you, I'm with you. Loot the ghost. Okay. Take all. Potion, mana, blue sand, take all. Right. I kind of get that. So if I want to cast a spell, basically, then I'm pressing RT and then selecting either that or one of the fire ones or a fireball. That's pretty good. So what about the other ones? What do they do? Some kind of area of effect. And what's this one? Ah, that's cool. That's like a actual melee attack. Bottom one there. Right, okay. So spell requirements most spells require items in your inventory or an effect an effect active on you take some fire stones on the table and you can cast fire sigils take astral potions to replenish your mana okay right so that's what i just did i think right so that's that so that's potions potions in the oceans what's next Weapon skills. Physical skills often require you to wield a specific weapon type or have a status effect on you, such as such as such as the rage boom. Okay. Using Predator Leap. Assign the enrage and predator leap skills to your quick slots. Use enrage to gain rage boon. And then only and then you can use the predator leap since the leap requires having rage active on you. Oh, this is all a bit complex. <laughs> Jeez, can I just use the spell? Alright, let's give it a go. So, rage, boom, predator leap. RT. Oh, I'm still waiting for that to finish its cooldown. Could take a while. Have I got any, um, anything to replenish the. Oh, what's that? Arrows. Spear, mace, nice. Already got a round shield in there. Simple bow. Why am I crouching like that? Is it because I've got too many things? No. Uh, equip. There we go. Right, so what am I doing in here? I'm meant to be doing a predator leap. Hello mate, am I doing a predator leap? Oh, here we go, look. It's back. No, it's not. Well, I can do this one. That's pretty cool. Now it's on a cooldown now. Okay. Right, I kind of get that. I'm get I'll get it to a point. How easy that will be to remember and to pull off in the heat of the battle, we'll see. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Right, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we here we here we go. I like the detail on the um on the environments. It actually feels really cool. There's some variation with everywhere I've been. It doesn't feel like a copy and paste job. Um, looks pretty cool. Right, anyway. Read about negative effects. Use this elevator to reach a section on negative effects. Let's do it. It's a really well thought out tutorial. Status effects are displayed at the bottom left of the screen. Removing negative negative effects is important between battles. For example, bleeding deals damage over time and is healed with bandages. Okay. So what do we got here? We've got some antidote and some bandages. Happy days. Can I go in here? I 
don't know what this is. Probably causing. Look, I think there's a negative effect going on down the down at the bottom of the screen. Some kind of green skull. Don't know. Right, what's this? Is that the uh, lift back up? Shit, did I just die from walking in that um that green lake thing? <laughs> If I just died in the tutorial, <laughs> cracking. That takes some doing. Oh, are you gonna put me to the start of the tutorial just because I died? <laughs> Dirt bags. Oh, that's a shocker. Right. Well, at least I know. Don't go in green water. But it could have given me a bit more of a um, bit more of a warning that I was about to die. If I'm honest, normally it expects me to be going, ugh, ugh, or you know some kind of motion to say that I'm about to expire okay we're gonna get past you do I get the um, items again or have I already got those oh sod it oh yeah look I've got the arrows still in me uh, inventory inventory or inventory inventory whatever Right, okay, so I did this bit, went up here, defeated the ghost, up to this bit, went round this, got some weapons, took the simple bow, then the, went up here, went through here, went up here, down here, said about, oh, I wonder if I can get Oh, that was the, yeah. That was the um, up elevator. So if I did that, I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but I'm just going to do it this way anyway, just for completeness. Basically, don't walk into the green water. Oh look, is that a trap? Yeah it is. See I didn't even see that. Well there you go. That might have something to do with why I uh why I order. Right, so what how do I equip the um Oh bollocks. How do I get into my rucksack then to equip the bandages? That's how I died, isn't it then? Um, okay, right. Yeah, it was this button. Now, I want to find some bandages, right? R B equipment needs bleeding bandages. Use craft assign. Uh, any chance I can just. Use some bandages, anyone? How the hell do I use my bandages? I'm dying. This doesn't make sense, does it? Um, I've got bandages, so what? Oh, can I craft them? Missing some ingredients. That's less than ideal. Because now I'm going to die. Because I'm bleeding out, basically. And... There's nothing I can do about it. Because I think... bandages have already been taken right because I picked them up earlier I'm about to die again oh, that's a bummer character needs proceed to learn about food and drink quick food and drink if I have some food and drink then maybe I'll survive eat something take saving tea
What's this over it? Take water skin. Appease your hunger and thirst or you will pass out. Animals and plants provide food while bodies of water can quench your thirst. Though you will need a water skin to carry water with you. Okay. Uh, gather clean water. Drink clean water. There we go. Drink some more clean water. Okie dokie. Uh, any chance of me getting any health back? So in my pocket I've got money, right? I've got iron sword, round shield, dark worker hood, backpack. What's this? Astral potion, antidote. Okay, concoction of coastal common cold. Alright. Blue sand. Oh, we go bandages. So I have to use it from here. Me being a spoon. Didn't realise. Okay, you're going to stop the bleeding. Is that regenerating me or not? Do I get some health back from anything else? Oh, look, it is regenerating by the looks of things. Water skin, water skin. Bandages, blue sand. Right, okay, cool. Right, I'm with it, I'm with it. Back in the game. Right, here we go. So, know about water. So there's a bit of a survival element to the game, obviously needing to replenish your uh, water as you go along. So you've got to keep an eye on those um, bars down the bottom. Illnesses. Cook your meat, boil your water. So as not to become ill. It takes a long time to recover from illness, though medicinal teas can help. Right, okay. Open the corpse. What we got? We've got some raw alpha meat, coral horn, antler, and hide. Take all. Happy days. Read about craft and craft a campfire. To cook in the wild, you must craft campfire kits. Gather free wood from the nearby tree. Enter your menu. Go to the crafting tab and select a campfire kit. Free wood. Okay. Do I have an axe? Well, I've got some rainbow trout. Nice. Some salt. Seaweed. Nice. Oh, more seaweed. What else have we got here? Flint. That's to start the fire. Oh, use the kitchen. Nice. Got a kitchen I can use. Well, let's just uh, get some wood. How do I get wood? Gather wood. Oh, free wood added. Okay. Take the cooking pot. Deploy a camp. Once you have a campfire kit, go to your inventory and use it. You can then deploy the campfire on the ground. If you have flint and steel in your inventory, inf interact with the campfire to light it. Makes sense. Don't want to read about it. I want to take flint and steel. Yeah. So I can go in here and create one, right? Is that how I do it? So I need crafting. Equipment, vitals, effects, crafting, campfire kit, right, free wood. Okay, got it. Craft, made, right, with it. Uh, now, now that I've made it, how do I assign it? I need to go back here, I'm assuming, to do a campfire kit. Yeah, I've got two. Deploy. Oh. Uh, where are you? There you are. Deploy. Right, so then I'll get to choose where I put it. Be nice to have it just here. And light it. I lit my first fire. Fantastic. Right. Um, use campfire. Um. Campfire, any ingredient. So what could I cook? Let's go with rainbow trout. Yeah, let's go with rainbow trout. 
Uh, or boil river water into clean water. Single ingredient is such as grilled meat. What a boil. Create dishes with more. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go. One grilled rainbow trout added. Yes. I'll do it again. Another grilled rainbow trout added. Lovely stuff. Right. Okay, that's simple enough. Deploying a campfire. We've done that bit. So, let's do cooking. Cooking with a single ingredient only requires a lit campfire. Recipes with multiple ingredients require a kitchen or a cooking pot deployed on a fire. You can use a cooking pot in your inventory and place it on a campfire. Can I now? Why can't I just use the kitchen? So, I could make... What's this? Travel ration. Yeah. Or... Gabbery jam or meat stew. I need a vegetable for that. Let's do a travel ration. Travel ration. I can mess around with um, manual recipes as well. Cool. I like a bit of cooking. Free travel rations added. There we go. Good stuff. I'm liking this. Nice simple um, deployment of that. So a good mechanic. Read about temperatures. Proceed down to learn about managing your temperature in extreme climates. Right, let's do it. Have a little run. Okay. They rear some kind of smelting. Some real good attention to detail. I mean, that's fantastic. All different areas of different sort of um, details in them. I think it's great. Desert tunic okay desert boots and water skin right yep in hot climates drink water wear clothing tailored Ooh. wear clothing tailored to protect against the sun heavy armors rarely protect against the heat okay so anything good over here so just general advice then oh here we go bit of uh, winter wear, campfire kit, flint and steel. In cold climates, campfires and torches can warm you up. Padded or fern lined clothes can also protect against cold. Take the fur helm, the fur armour and the fur boots. Oh look, bag overweight. Right, so let's go into the bag and let's put some stuff on. Right, so we want fur armour. Uh, fur boots nice then we would like uh, can I hold a torch or something flint and steel uh, okay so I need um, to drop some stuff shall I get rid of oh fur helm I'll wear that that's cool think I need to drop some of this so how can I get rid of my iron mace is there a way of just dropping it uh, yeah move to pocket assign to quick slot or drop drop okay and we've got double of this we've got a double shield haven't we so drop the shield don't need that any other doubles? Doubles for troubles? Oh, I'm holding a spear and I've got one in my backpack so I can get rid of that. Drop. That should be okay for now then. Right, let's get moving. Oh, crouching is... Um, oh, on my... My PlayStation pad. That's why I was crouching earlier. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon, right. Final advice on temperatures. Other items can help you manage. Oop, hello. Other items can help you manage your temperature, such as post. Oh, God, stop coming out of it. So 
such as potions, tents, or meals. You can also seek shelter underground where the temperature is usually moderate. Okay. Good advice, good advice. Right. Let's have a look here. Inventory. Proceed to learn about manager inventory. Okay. Feels like I'm walking around a uh, museum. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. <laughs> nice little stroll, having a look about. Alright, open. Lanterns, right, read about lanterns. Lanterns in your backpack and not in your pack. Oh, keeps coming out of it, I don't know why. Lanterns in your backpack and not in your pouch are hung from your backpack. Okay. Freeing your offhand for a shield or a two handed weapon. Okay. D pad left is to quickly move into lantern. Whoa, look at that. That is a sword and a half. Something tells me it's going to put me overweight. Let's take three explorer lanterns and then try and work out how I'm going to bring my uh, overall weight down. I want to equip that though. Yeah, look at that. Head back to my uh, original headwear. Um, anything I can get rid of don't need right now. I suppose picking up three lanterns wasn't a good shout, was it? Oh, what am I doing here? Um, right, so, drop. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Drop. Okay. Worker boots, desert boots, water skin, Drinking water resource. Wonder if I need um, more than one water skin. Do they ever run out? Or we'll, we'll drop one. Dropped. Okay. Well, that should be alright now, right? Am I still overweight? Story of my life. Right, come on. Not really running, so I must still be. Overweight. Um, what else is there? Oi! You cheeky monkey! I didn't see you coming. Ah, oh, that's a scandal! <laughs> um, so, yeah, when you pull up your um, backpack or your inventory, top tip, it doesn't pause the game. So, there you go. So, if you're somewhere where it is dangerous, probably best not to do that. Okay, I think I'm calling a halt to it there, but. Just a kind of a quick half hour on the um, tutorial, really, just to see what that was like. So that's all good. Um, I'll get into a proper game on my next playthrough, um, so as we can see what the actual story is like, etc. But this has given us a great little insight into what it feels like, um, what it's trying to achieve. So you've got survival elements in an RPG style game. Um, Nice details, like I say, on the uh, on the levels, um, and something that I think I could really sink my teeth into. Seems like something that's right up my street. Uh, it's just gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to the controls and also the inventory management stuff as well. So um, all will be learned in good time. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's given you an insight as to whether you would like to buy this game. Um, it's currently on Steam, so head over to Steam to take a look. Um, there's plenty more of our videos on our YouTube channel, so if you like this video, press like and make sure you subscribe to the channel as that really helps us get new video games into the Games Freezer. Um, we're also on Instagram at Games Freezer, we're on um, Twitter at Games Freezer. So head over to there if you like seeing a stream of retro gaming, indie gaming, and gaming gaming news. Right, okay, um, that is it from me. So until next time, my friends, it's a big fat goodbye.